Flow cytometry is a technology that incorporates lasers, electronics, and optics. Our services further the NIMS mission by providing cell sorting services. We can identify specific cells which are involved in diseases like inflammatory conditions um, similar to rheumatoid arthritis. We can identify these cells and then separate them out using cell sorting to then allow the investigator to do host sorting functional assays, genomics assays, in order to further elucidate and define what this cell is and what is the mechanism by which it causes disease. The advantage of these instruments is that we can look at single cells and we can look at very large populations in a short period of time to give us a real overall view of what an entire population of cells might be doing. Flow cytometry itself uses fluorescent tags on cells that identify them as being specific cell types. We can then assist researchers in their endeavors by identifying these cells which might be involved in disease processes. We have an instrument from SciTech Biosciences called the Aurora CS, and they leverage their own full spectrum technology, which means that in the past, when we looked at a tag, we only had one signal, and that identified that particular tag. Now we, we look at the entire spectrum and it enables us to use more tags or more fluorescent tags, and we can do up to 50 tags at the same time. Our latest two acquisitions are two leading edge cell sorters. One is from BD Biosciences. It is called the Fax Discover S8. The unique capability of the S8 is that it has imaging capability. This is uh, unprecedented in the field. Normally, we look at just the signals, the light signals that come off the cells. So as the cells are interrogated by lasers, we look at physical characteristics. We can actually see what that cell is, and we can look at the physical characteristics of the cell. We also teach the postdocs and the researchers to run the instruments themselves. Along with that, we, we advise the PIs and the researchers what techniques might be best to work for their particular project. Today, we've heard the, the term personalized medicine. And in order to do that, we need to identify the cells of interest and, and for the individual. And I think flow cytometry will be one of those tools for, for investigators and researchers towards that goal. And I think its capabilities will only increase 